The Federation University Road National Championships got underway in the university itself with the individual time trial. The first big medal to be decided was amongst the under 23 men and against the clock from Inform TMX make, it was Carter Turnbull who went back to back. In the minor placings behind Carter Turnbull, it was Matthew Dinham in the silver medal position. Third place rounding out the podium was Zach Marriage. In the under-23 women looking to the rising stars of Australian cycling, after so many near misses throughout her campaign at national championships, it was Anya Lowe of ARA Pro Racing Sunshine Coast who managed to get up to collect the gold medal. Oh, it means so much. Um, yeah, I'm beyond stoked. Uh, I've been riding for about 12 years now and all of those years almost at nationals, so yeah, I've come second so many times and I'm so happy to finally get the win. In second place, Alyssa Politis in her first season up in the under-23s after many strong performances throughout her junior career in the under-17s and the under-19s. And in third place, collecting the bronze medal was Emily Watts from Knights of Suburbia Racing. The big pre-race favourite in the elite women's race was the fourth place finisher from the Olympic Games. Grace Brown, she started with the target on her back and she went through the midway checkpoint with the fastest time. Amber Pate came in, setting the benchmark for the others to chase, but Brown, she was up to the task. She managed to go quicker, winning the race a minute and one second ahead of Amber Pate and it was Lisa Jacob who finished in third place. Yeah, it's really special. FTJ um, have supported me a lot already in my pre preparation for the time trial, so um, I really wanted to get this win for them and their first win of the season, so um, I think we're off to a good start. In the elite men's individual time trial, it was billed as a battle between Rowan Dennis and Luke Durbridge, the only two riders from World Tour teams in contention. Dennis was the favourite on the back of his bronze medal ride at the Tokyo Olympics. Durbridge has upset him before though and is a multiple Australian time trial champion. Trying to interrupt them though was Connor Lay, who set the benchmark early, averaging 47.5 kilometres per hour on the course. In the end, Durbridge collected the silver medal as Rowan Dennis delivered in his new colours. For season 2022, riding for the Dutch Jumbo Visma team, but every time it's an individual time trial, the South Australian will be wearing green and gold. And always good to win nationals. Um, it's never easy, uh, as I've, I've shown. Uh, both times when I was world champion, I couldn't win. So uh, it's always about who can, who can really prepare properly and and uh, everyone brings their own game, A game in uh, January. So yeah, it's um, one of the hardest races to win of the year for, for Australians. Rowan Dennis winning by a minute and 13 seconds. It was Connor Lay at 1.47. That gets the Federation University Road National Championships underway. Plenty of racing still to come, including the Criteriums and the road races.